By the way, college standpoint, I do want to talk specifically about uh, Alabama. Man, they, they just don't want to put Alabama in it, higher, right? And I, I get it, right? And you look, if you look at the rankings, you really can't put Alabama, Alabama over certain teams, right? Like you don't rank Al, you don't rank Alabama over you don't rank Alabama over Texas, right? Because they lost to Texas, right? Um, you you can't do that. But if I go, let me pull up, let me pull up the standings here. Um, let me pull this up here. If I pull up the rankings and look at the coaches' poll, which really doesn't necessarily mean anything right now, the Coswell playoff is the biggest thing. But if I'm looking at the coaches' poll, is it is a six and one Oregon in the Pac-12 better than Alabama? Right, that's the question you got to ask. Now you got Washington, Georgia, Michigan, Ohio State, Florida State, Washington, Oklahoma, Texas. Oregon, Alabama, <coughs> and then you got Penn State, the top ten. Penn State. Uh, th- here's the thing. You already know these rankings are off when you only have two teams in the SEC in the top ten, because a six and one Ole Miss team is better than the seven and Washington. It's better than the seven and Oklahoma. Um, you got LSU creeping up in fifteen. Uh, you got Ole Miss at twelve. Um, and I'm looking at it right now, it's really only Missouri at 7-1, and one, right? You got 1, 2, uh, 3, 4, and then uh, 5 at teams in the, in the top 25 poll. The top 15, you have 5 teams as well, too, for the SEC. Tennessee's number, Tennessee's uh, 5 and 2, so they're 21. Um, USC, once again, lost. James Madison, James Madison hasn't played a soul. Uh, I don't know why James, I don't I don't know why damn using a rank. It was customary, but they beat Virginia, Troy, Utah State, South. They had Mar- their next game is Marshall. They play ODU. Like they they don't play anybody. And and let's just be honest. Like JMU is not a good football team. Well, they're a good football team, but it's nothing compared to the top teams. Georgia, uh, they, they had an open week. They had a bye this week. Um, I think Alabama's bye is actually Alabama. Alabama's bye is next uh, next week. They'll have a game. Um, Texas, I, I'm, I'm I'm surprised they went up in the polls once and they struggled to beat Houston. Um, and then Q, Quinn Ewers, Ewers is out. The question now was, are we going to see Archie Manning early? You know, are we going to see Archie Manning? Um, and I don't think that they're going to bring him. I think the other guy that they have is that black guy that played. Arch, was it Archie Manning Jr.? Is that, <coughs> is that his name? No, what's his name? What's a uh, Manning quarterback? I, you know, I should I should know this. Uh, Mainly because, yeah, yeah, Arch Manning, not Archie Manning, Arch Manning. Um, does he play? Um, the Malik Malik Murphy finished the game out. Um, this is the last thing you want to see with Texas. You just want you just want Malik to come in and, and hold the hold the hold the weight until Quinn gets back. Um, you know, it's Team Carson not really extended injury rumors say it was an extended amount of time. They say he might miss a quite a bit of time. Even without considering rumors, the fact that it was was a sling yesterday for leading the game indicates at least a certain it's the second time he's gotten injured. Um you know, uh but they say they got they got two quarterbacks behind them that are capable. Um, you know, we might hear the cries. Here's the thing. If, if if Murphy comes, I don't want to make this about Texas, but if Murphy comes, if Murphy comes and he's not doing well, you got you got an immediate, immediate quarterback controversy. Now I don't think that from looking at Malik Murphy, and I'm I'm just gonna kind of do a quick uh, look at his numbers, but yeah, I, I don't know. You got a redshirt freshman versus a true freshman, and you know who the crowd wants. But let's take a look at Texas's schedule to see if. You know, um, they already had their bye weeks. They're playing every game. Uh, I know. So that you got B. Oof. It's BYU, and you should be confident. But you got Kansas State, um, Kansas State, and then the schedule is not tough. You're in, you're in the Big Twelve. Let's just put it like that. But uh, uh, BYU at home, you know, you should you should feel confident that you can you can win that game. Uh, BYU really hasn't beat anybody this year of, of much of much caliber. Um, they beat well, actually a lot. They beat Arkansas 38-31. Whenever you beat SEC school, it goes a long way. They lost to TCU, lost to Kansas. Um, Kansas played Oklahoma tough. Um, yeah, 
I mean, I don't know. Uh, you know, Big 12, you know, BYU using the Big 12, and they've been in the Big 12 for a reason. You know, they came to play good ball. Uh, so, you know, uh, for, uh, up in the conference for them. So it, you, you're going to see, we'll see. You know, we'll see what happens with Texas and see if it's a big factor. <clears throat> you expect the guys to rally around them and also that defense to kind of step up and, 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 and make plays. But that's going to tell a lot of how strong Texas may stay in the polls. I said, I'm surprised they went up one. The quarterback went down, and they they in a nail bite with Houston. Uh, just completely surprised, uh, completely surprised by that. Uh, but you got Oregon, you know Oregon, who I'm not sure why went up in the poll. I don't know why Oregon's ranked higher than Alabama. Like, is it because their loss that came against Washington? Um, you know, a top team. So did Alabama's. I, I I don't get where the the voters are even saying or whoever it is saying. Oh, they should put them both AP poll. But they got Utah next. They got USC. They got Oregon, Oregon State. They're going to lose one of these games outside of the, the Pac-12 championship game if they get there. Right now, they're not even in the Pac-12 championship game. Right now, if the Pac-12 championship game had were to happen right now, it would be a repeat of Washington and USC. Repeat of Washington and USC. Because USC's loss, USC's only loss came to Notre Dame, who was not in conference, and then lost to Utah. There's... Now, USC schedule. USC is not going to win off the next four games. you got California, Washington, Oregon, and UCLA. The Pac-12 is going to beat up on each other towards the end of the, end of the season, and they're not, they're, they might have one team that's going to make it. Right now, they don't have a team that's in the top four. Florida State, um, I think that was a strong win against Duke. <coughs> but <coughs> the only... Ah, Florida State, could, Florida, Florida State I, I, I don't think they're good. And... I don't think Florida State's good, and I think that uh, they're going to lose one of these games, whether it's Miami, Florida, Pitt, Wake Forest. I think they're going to lose a Miami or Florida game. Uh, I, I don't think. I just don't think that they're. I just. I just don't think that they're. Uh, it might be that Florida game. I just don't think that Florida State is real, and um, it used to mean something going through the Pac-12. I mean the ACC, but right now it doesn't mean much, especially with with Clemson not having the recruits that they need. Alabama has a tough schedule, too. Alabama Alabama could easily lose to, you know, you got LSU next week. You know, LSU is going to be a tough one. Kentucky, Chattanooga, and then Auburn. All right, so you got two big games at Alabama because they have an open week uh, next, not, not not next week, but the week after. They have LSU and Auburn. You, you're, you're playing LSU. And fortunately, fortunately, it's at home, uh, but LSU is a tough team. They play tough football. Uh, last year, last year they, they they made it known last year as well too, so um, you know we'll we'll see what happens. You know we'll we'll see what happens with uh, with Alabama. But man, just to put out Oregon and Oregon over Alabama um, is is wild. Washington's not gonna. You'll see. I, I'm not just saying these things, guys. Like I'm not saying these things out of malice, out of hate, out of anger. I'm just saying these things because it's true. Right, it, it, this is true. What Pac-12 is going to be up on each other. The Big Ten is going to be up each other, and who's going to stand strong are the two top teams in the SEC we see every year. All right, this is more likely it's going to be a Alabama, Georgia, right? Championship now. It's LSU. It's LSU. It's LSU. Um, <clears throat> now here, here's a scenario we haven't thought of for Alabama. <clears throat> Say you. <clears throat> excuse me. Say you lose to LSU. Well, then LSU loses a game. You know, this is you for you. This is the the one. If, the, if there's any most important game of Alabama's season, it's this game right now, because Alabama has Alabama has to beat LSU to be into that. They'll pretty much be in the the, uh, the SEC championship game. If they do, they play LSU that SEC championship game, and they fa- essentially face Georgia. I think that Georgia may lose one. You got Missouri, you got Florida, Missouri, Ole Miss, Tennessee, right? So you may have two one-loss teams against against each other in the in the SEC championship game, right? So then it's like, okay, the SEC may be a be a point. SEC may be a point each other, but overall, this is the rankings. This is what it is. Um, we'll see what happens in the college football football playoff next week uh, when they start releasing the rankings, but. Um, I expect a wild finish, a good college football season. 
uh, for what we have and, what, and the, the matchups that we have and the teams that we we uh, we see playing against each other. But man, it's 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 going to be interesting.